What is up, YouTube? My name is Protolink. Today I have a combination lock video. Um, this is not the combination lock that I built. Uh, I just wanted to make that very clear right now. Uh, this is an old one that I've been using, um, but it's less secure because it uses levers. So, uh, basically, uh, you flip a few levers, door opens. If you flip anything else, door closes, you know. Very simple. Uh, but, like I said, it's not very secure because if you have the levers flipped and you enter the door, uh, then people entering the area can actually see the, um, the combination. So, what I built over here is a button-based combination lock. Um, basically, you, uh, you press the buttons in a certain way, and... When you get done, they will open the door. But, uh, you know, I, I'm been, I've been trying to do this uh, video for about an hour now, so that's why I did that, because I, uh, I originally did this video, and then something screwed up and I lost it. So anyways, uh, do that, opens the door. This is a button to close the door again once you're on the other side. Basically, you can freely open and close it from here. Uh, without affecting this. But anyways, yeah, that's that. Uh, there will be a tutorial on this uh, coming soon, but I have to do it in parts because of um, the nature of how I have to record things. Hold on, let me just adjust this real quick. There we go. Alright, so because of the nature that I have to record things, I have to do it in parts. Uh, just a sneak peek of the uh, redstone involved. I'm just going to do a quick flyby here. Excuse me, I'm in creative mode, so it's going to have the octagonal flyby thing. Or er, hexagonal, actually, I think. No, it is octagonal. Anyways, this is just a quick flyby of the redstone involved. It's not very pretty, but it gets the job done. You can probably study... Uh, this in more detail if you slow down the video or something but uh, yeah that's it um, and that's it for this video so I guess I will see you guys next time